A report published in 2018 showed that women represented about 18% of the 1.3 million people in the aviation industry. It is only a little more than 6% if you narrow it down just to the pilot category. And it's that 6% that our next enshrinee is trying to change. Teresa Terry Martin Donner is a native Kentuckian born in Louisville in 1960. At the age of two, Terry's family moved to Madison, Wisconsin. She has fond memories of when her father, a salesman, took her with him when he went on the road. Mr. Martin would stop at airports anytime he saw a windsock flying in the breeze. He loved the idea of flight, although not a pilot himself. His fascination undoubtedly influenced his young daughter. With the seed of flight firmly planted, Terry, at the age of 16, boistered the courage to take her first plane ride in a Cessna 150. A co-worker at the McDonald's where she worked had a pilot's license and invited her to take a flight with him. Terry was nervous but agreed to go. She thought to herself, if I can live through this, I'll give it a try. From this moment on, her love for aviation grew. She was hooked. Her teenage job provided the revenue to support flying lessons at Maury Airport in Middleton, Wisconsin. At the age of 17, Terry earned her license. Then instrument rating followed. Terry, always up for a challenge, at age 19 entered the 1979 Air Race Classic in Santa Monica, California, an all-female transcontinental air derby. She flew a Cessna 172 from Santa Monica to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where she finished 21st out of 62 competitors. In 1980, at the age of 20, Terry completed her commercial and CFI ratings while attending the University of Wisconsin-Madison and studying meteorology. She met and married Ray Donner, a pilot and fellow student. Working full-time at the Wisconsin Department of Transportation as an airport inspector paid for college and for her advanced flight training while flying statewide to 150 public airports to collect the FAA airport faculty directory data. Terry received an Amelia Earhart Memorial Scholarship in 1981 from the 99s Incorporated, the international organization of women's pilots organization to get her multi-engine rating. She realized that having a degree in meteorology was not the career that she wanted. Thus, in 1985, Terry headed back to Louisville and was hired by Stevens Aviation at Bowman Field to work as a flight instructor. She excelled as an instructor, and in 1986, she received the Flight Instructor of the Year Award in the state of Kentucky and the Southern Region. She earned her multi-engine flight instructor rating and airline transport pilot certificate, all while pregnant with her second son, Charles. In 1988, United Parcel Service announced the creation of UPS Airlines to be located in Louisville, Kentucky. As UPS Air began to grow, Terry saw a new opportunity. She applied in 1989 and was accepted as the flight engineer flying the Boeing 727. Two years later, she was promoted to first officer, and on June 12, 1995, Terry signed her first flight release as captain on the Boeing 727. Following in his mother's footsteps, Terry's oldest, Nick, pursued his mother's interest in flying and was hired at UPS as an Airbus first officer. Together with his mom, they made history. They worked as captain and first officer on the Airbus A300, the only mother-son qualified crew on transport category aircraft. While UPS has close to 3,000 pilots, very few are women, only about 6%, a number that Terry would like to see change. Terry believes that the main reason why more females are not involved in any aspect of aviation is that they don't know they can be. She wants to change that premise. Young women should be encouraged to look toward the sky for their future. Terry has enjoyed traveling all over the world, speaking to female aviation groups. In 2019, she participated in the first China 99 section meeting in Chengdu, speaking to 300 students. She has facilitated the annual Girl Scout Aviation Day in Louisville every year since 2002, in which over 5,500 girls have been introduced to a variety of aviation careers. Exhibits, activities, and experiences routinely include learning about aircraft engineering and design, aviation jobs, single-engine planes, multi-engine planes, and air traffic control towers, along with cargo planes, military aviation, civil air patrol, hot air balloons, helicopters, aircraft maintenance, flight schools, commercial aviation, the history of female pilots, and education opportunities for girls and young women in related fields. Since the inaugural event, similar Aviation Day events have been held independently in many U.S. states and foreign countries. Terry has witnessed the fruits of her efforts as she inspired females to start their aviation journeys. 
As a result of their experiences with Terry, some of these girls have become pilots with airlines, aircraft mechanics, or working as air traffic controllers. In recognition of her efforts, she was inducted into the International Forest of Friendship in 2000 and received the Award of Inspiration 2011 from the 99s. Terry has three children, sons Nicholas and Charles, and daughter Amelia, all of whom soloed hot air balloons on their 14th birthday. Therefore, in recognition of her inspirational leadership to women seeking a career in aviation, that Teresa Terry Donner be enshrined into the official Aviation Hall of Fame of the Commonwealth of Kentucky.